surgeon will make an incision in the baby's chest, usually on the right side. Through the incision, the surgeon will gently move the lungs aside to view the trachea and esophagus. After identifying the tracheoesophageal fistula, the surgeon will slowly close the fistula's connection to the trachea with sutures, then cut the connection away from the trachea. The fistula's connection to the esophagus will also be cut, and the fistula will be removed. Next, the surgeon will make an incision at the end of the upper esophagus to open it. Then, the upper and lower esophagus will be connected with sutures. Finally, the surgeon will insert a surgical drain in the chest and close the incision with sutures.